British standard, BS 8300, like any other British standard, is, is a good practice guidance document. What it does is it goes into all aspects of accessibility and gives um, indications of what is good practice rather than minimum standards. Standards in the design process are indispensable to it because um, any designer will have opinions, any professional will have opinions about what they do. And the end user of a building is somebody who's way downstream from the early design process. We have had access standards in, in this country, in, in the UK, for, for, uh, for 40, almost 50 years now. But the, the standards have gradually improved. It very much was, at the very beginning, very much about ramps and toilets for disabled people and door widths and sizes of lifts, etc. And gradually, as we've learnt how to um, be more inclusive about our access standards, it's broadened out to um, a much more um, comprehensive standard. Inescapably, you must have standards to work to because in the end you're using other people's money to build a building that may be there for a hundred years. Why would you afford to get it wrong? Of course standards are how you get it right. I think standards are important for everyone. First of all they give clear framework for web developers and secondly from a user experience if the website is developed to good accessibility and usability standards it's a win-win for everyone. So our standard tries to say, okay, if you own a website, um, then these are all of the things that you need to think about. Because if you make the choice in this particular direction, then the world opens up for people. If you make it in this direction, well, maybe you're excluding a certain number of people. Standards in transport are really important for wheelchair users so that you know that for example, whichever taxi comes to the door when you've, when you've phoned, that you're going to be able to get your chair in safely and that there'll be space for you inside. I think standards are useful for everybody, but they're useful for manufacturers to know exactly how they have to specify certain dimensions of their vehicles, um, perhaps the height to step up to get into the vehicle, that kind of thing. We feel it's important to have standards uh, right the way across the board. Internationally, we're all moving around a lot more these days. So when, when people come to different nations, different countries, different businesses, it's important for them to recognise easily what they see and what they do. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons for using graphical symbols and a lot of reasons that these, to the, in this day and age, need to be internationally recognised.